Hey guys, I think it's time to do an update video because quite a lot of stuff's actually happening. We've finally more or less moved in to the new place. Uh, as some of you may know, the internet is, well, the internet speeds are kind of a problem, an ongoing problem, should we say. But I've more or less overcome them because luckily with my new phone, I can turn this into a hotspot and I can attach my phone to the window and upload that way, which actually works fairly well, um, which is nice. Uh, it's a viable option anyway until I find out what's going on with BT and OpenReach and all that shit. OpenReach are not being very helpful whatsoever. Neither is BT, even though they keep telling me they're a premium service. Uh, I'm not sure what that means and what that relates to, but there we go. BT is a premium service, which I believe means they can charge me an awful lot of money for a very shitty connection. Huh. Ah, yes. Also, if you've seen my last Last of Us video, you'll know my capture card. After quite a few years, in all fairness, of good service, um, appears to be dying. Uh, the colours are all strange. They're not strange on the pass-through. So, when I'm playing a game, uh, the game looks normal. It's only on the video that the colours are strange. And I tried it on my laptop as well. Exactly the same problem. So it's definitely not my computer, which is frustrating because um, <sighs> that kind of means for the moment that I can't really do any games on my consoles, which means that The Last of Us is going to have to go on hold again until I can get another capture card. Um, they're not super expensive, but at the moment I'm saving up for a new PC. Because <laughs> my PC is kaput. Um, yeah, this board is not very well. I think the CPU is still good, but the board itself is fragged and these Z97 boards are actually quite old uh, and they're very hard to get. And the ones that are available, they're still going for full price and I'm not paying £100 plus or even £150 plus for a six-year-old motherboard. Not happening. So I do have... Uh, my missus uh, AMD FX what is it, it's an AMD FX uh, 8150 in my computer at the moment which yeah it works, It you know it, it is what it is it's about 40% slower than my old CPU and it doesn't like playing the games and most of my videos take nearly 3 hours to render now uh, whereas they used to take about an hour and 40 minutes. So, yeah, that's why I really want to push for a new new computer, which is, should only be about a month or two away. Uh, that was until my capture card decided to up and uh, die, which was frustrating. But, onto the positives, it's much easier and better to record in this house, it's so easy. Um, there's no interruptions. I've finally got a desk with everything set up. Um, I can come straight home from work and jump on and start recording. It's really nice in that regard. And the fact that we have really slow internet because of my phone, you know, there's workarounds around it. It's not the end of the world, so. That's a positive. I also want to do more of these update videos because maybe once a month or something. The only thing is it, it's kind of difficult to get enough stuff to say because usually at work uh, I think of loads of 
things and then I get home and I can't remember anything. But one thing I have been doing recently is uh, I've been playing The Outer Worlds on the Xbox One X because it's uh, on Game Pass. Um, and it's really bloody good. If you like Fallout, specifically Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, it's really bloody good and I'm utterly addicted to it. The dialogue... The, the companions, uh, even the loot system and the weapons. Yes, yes. If you're a Fallout fan, definitely give it a go. It's, I don't know if I'd say it's better than Fallout 4. I've got a weird relationship with Fallout 4. I kind of like it, but it, it, mm, I didn't like the leveling system in Fallout 4, like at all. It, it was a bit, yeah. But, um, yeah, The Outer Worlds, a lot more fun than I thought it would be. There are a couple of bits where the game focuses for quite a few hours um, on just running around talking to people with very little action. Eh, um, it did get a little bit boring because I like, I, like, I like interactivity and I like talking to the NPCs, but I like it being broken up with something a little bit more interesting as well. But I suppose you could, you know, you could break these things up. You could go have a chat to a few people and then fuck off to another planet, shoot some stuff, come back, chat to people. So, you know, you can kind of play it at your own pace. But definitely enjoying it. Lots of weighty decisions in the game. You know, we've had games before that um, offer you choice and decisions and ugh, there's no real weight or consequence behind it. But Outer Worlds actually does have some significantly weighty decisions really early on as well. So, yes, definitely want to add that to the uh, list of games to cover at some point. Definitely worth looking up. Uh, I've also been really enjoying XCOM again, really enjoying playing that. So we're going to see a lot more PC uh, games at the moment because obviously my consoles are out of action for now tempted to do some of the mods we shall see how that goes I know Terra for the Deep is a very 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 difficult game um, so I don't know if we're going to succeed or if it's going to be a spectacular failure but if we fail we fail you know that's a great thing you can just have another round um, I have about 60% success rate, I would say, in Terror for the Deep. Um, I complete the game about 60% of the time. With mods, that's going to be totally different because they really do overhaul the game. Uh, the impending release of Resident Evil 3 as well, which is, last time I checked, 84 days away. Uh, yeah, pretty excited for that, to be honest. Can't wait to see what Nemesis is like and whether they keep the... Um, whether they go the same uh, route with all the choices you get to make as well. Remember that? Where you could either stand and fight Nemesis or you could uh, run away. Things like that. That's going to be interesting to see if they keep that in. The active choice system or something. I can't remember what they called it now. But that's going to be good. <sighs> Definitely need to have my computer ready for that because we're going to be doing that straight away. Hopefully over the next few days I do want to try streaming over 4G. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to go. Uh, my upload with 4G is actually pretty good, but 4G is also something that's very inconsistent, should we say. So that's going to be interesting. Um, if I can get, if I can up uh, stream with um, 4G, what I might do, and I have been thinking about this quite a lot, is I might just say fuck it and then get rid of our um, landline and build a 4G network with an actual proper um, aerial aerial antenna that's the word uh, outside because that potentially is quite viable we'll have to have to do some testing this computer though I don't know if it's up to streaming I'm gonna try it my plan was to stream one of the consoles so the console's doing all of the work and the computer's just encoding the video. However, <laughs> with um, my capture card now dead, that's not going to happen. 
So I don't know. We'll we'll probably have a fiddle either today. Now, obviously, I am dressed like this, and my partner is also very sick at the moment in the other room. This is a bit of a plague den at the moment, which is also why I'm trying to be very, very, very quiet because I don't really want to disturb her too much, if possible. Also, this should actually be quite an interesting year for gaming in general because, of course, we've got the two new consoles coming out at the end of the year. Um, they've already showed off the Xbox One X, which... No, the Xbox Series X, I should say, which is blatantly just the name of, of the collection of new systems. There's definitely going to be two, I think. I think you're going to get the super powerful one, which we've seen, and then you're going to get like a lower tier, maybe just a streaming box. Um, a lot of people don't like the design of the new Xbox. I do. I think it's very bold. It's just like this monolithic black tower. And it's not even that big either. Very powerful. 12 ter teraflops. Te 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 teraflops. Which is pretty juicy. Um, they're going to be able to do a hell of a lot with that. And with the Zen 2 architecture on board as well. And the SSDs. With ray tracing as well. Um, I think we're in for a very, very spicy generation. It's going to be quite the significant leap. Um, I I am more interested in the PlayStation because if I had to pick, uh, I would always get a PlayStation first and an Xbox second. I do like the Xbox. I like all the consoles. But um, yeah, very interesting. interested in what Sony is going to unveil with the PlayStation 5. They've mentioned that they're doing a lot of interesting things with the control pad which I'm looking forward to see. They say apparently the actual console itself isn't going to be as powerful as the Xbox, which is fine. I very much doubt there's going to be a huge um, amount in it. But it's going to be interesting if both of these consoles are now going to be pushing ray tracing. Ooh, that means we're going to have to get RTX, RTX powered graphics. Although AMD are coming out with their own solution as well in their new desktop cards, which is going to be interesting to see. Hmm. I think it's going to be a fun year. A fun year ahead. Uh, I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, I do want to do more of these updates. Maybe even <gasps> start scripting them. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of want to make it a bit more of a personal kind of thing. And now I have the space to do so uh, i've always wanted to do these these things but it's always been very difficult before um with constant interruptions and such whereas here i've got a lot more freedom really because it's only me and my missus that live here and i get a good amount of time uh, when she's at work and i'm here so years anyway guys Let's hope we all have a fantastic year. I will see if I can get my parts upgraded and replaced where possible over the next few months. Um, that should be interesting. And I'm going to keep you guys updated on my battle with the internet as well. Uh, ISPs. Don't we all love ISPs? So, hmm. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you all have a cracking year. It's going to be interesting. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.